I it's can terrible see that. Now. But but the I ones that come know, to mind are the Crips and the Bloods for the East Side and Five Points. That's oh, oh, you mean the South Park? I thought you were yeah. talking about the Simpsons. No, no, the South Park. South Park still. Oh, hilarious. the Simpsons yeah. are definitely hit and miss. Yeah, like, I've watched yeah. some like. Eh. Y'all ain't funny. Oh, South Park, I'm like, this is retarded. Yeah. Y'all are still funny. You don't fucking care. Mm. I love this shit. Dude, dude, there's so many episodes. Yeah, once you get to the Colfax up, dude, that's a legendary The fucking, episode, the bro. dispensary one with the balls when they can't get in the dispensary so they can't sell them the weed. Their balls, like, get all big. I don't think I've You've seen, seen that one? That one? Bro, no. Or the Kanye West one? Oh, oh dude, that, that. Uh, or the Jennifer Lopez on. one, dude. That's the Kanye West one. I think I just saw that one. Uh, Something about a fish. He's about, talking about the fish. I really didn't see that one. I was sitting there telling my wife, I'm like, they're touching on everything. I need to keep up because they're fucking keeping concurrent. No, they do. They're current as a motherfucker. Yeah, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. They literally make their show within a couple days. They do everything digital. Yeah, I like that shit. So that's why they're so current with everything. That's just funny. How'd you kind of get into comedy, being a stand-up comedian? I had cancer when I was 30. Damn. I said, fuck it, I'm going to be a comedian. What kind of, like, kind of, like, did you kind of just, like, were you watching it, or? Watching cancer? <laughs> <laughs> watching yeah. comedy. Who were your influences? Kids, don't watch cancer. You'll end up catching. <laughs> Remember Tom Green? Watching cancer and shit. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. Fucking harmless that ass. I've always liked fucking comedy, man. Like, I think, like, Dana Carvey was, like, mm. one of my first, like, what the fuck is this? Who is this guy right here? Because he was innocent enough for my mom was all right. Mm. You know, but oh, now I listen to a podcast. I'm like, yeah, no, you're like me. Fuck it. Yeah, you just pretended to be, you know, clean and shit. But before he was Garth, like way before that. Like I would watch <laughs> Saturday Night Live when I was a kid. Yeah, me you too. You know, with fucking Eddie Murphy's on. He's you 19. Know, I'm like, who is, what the fuck is happening? You know what's life? crazy, dog, is I can never get into Saturday Night Live. No? I, I've always, no. I mean, it's all, it's same. Hit or miss, like Simpsons. Yeah, you get some good shit, some shit ain't fucking good. Some, now, you get a good crack. One thing I people. have seen is like the Jimmy Fallon like compilation. Now, that motherfucker was funny. But he was see, funny. you're catching his funny moments. But see, not that's everyone's like, a funny moment, right? Not every moment is gold. No, yeah, that's like watching me grow as a comedian. Oh, that dude's funny. He's had some things I missed. But when you saw me at the Improv, yeah. I fucking sold out the Denver Improv it Comedy Club. Yeah. He was there, man. Did I hit or miss, or was oh. it just going? Oh, everybody, yeah, it, it was on point. So man. when you are a comedian, you craft your shit, man, it should just go. I just opened up, I featured for, uh, ah, fuck, one of the original Latin kings of comedy. Uh, Paul Rodriguez? No, not him, not Paul George Lopez. George. I, ah, fucking so it was either the Puerto Rican dude Alex Ramundo was one of them that I opened up for the Denver Improv the other one was uh, Joey Medina Joey Medina Joey Medina came up yeah was, mm -hmm. Joey Medina comes up to me and he goes you're gonna be fine and I was like what he goes you don't skip a beat there's no ums what should I say next he goes you go from whatever to whatever without transitions he goes that's he goes you're gonna be fine man I'm like ah where, where am I going to be fine, Joey? I'm trying to find the place for me to be fine. Fuck, because Colorado, I'm working, but I don't know, man. There's something I'm missing. And even I told my wife, I said, they're liking me. I'm hearing the laughs, but there's something I'm missing. I, I, want, I want that. Whoa. I think it's kind of like the music, bro. It's like, you kind of got to get outside here. This place is cool. Mm -hmm. But until you hit L.A., you know yeah. what I mean? Or maybe New York. Or even, yeah, the Austins, the New York, the Chicago's and stuff like so that. So I've performed at the Laugh Factory in Chicago. I did uh, the Creek in the Cave in New York. I've had nine Snappers Comedy Club in Florida. Uh, i done the Kansas City Comedy Club. Like, I am. I really am getting out there. Mm -hmm. It's just my, I, w I did not want to leave my fucking kids, though. I didn't want to be my dad. My wife was behind me. I'm doing the comedy. She was fine taking care of the kids. But I needed to be there. Right. My daughter is 19. She's going to be 19 in May. That's my youngest. I got an hour and a half, maybe two hours of material. Well, you know what's hitting now, it's right? It's time to now really get fucking out there. You know what's hitting right now? Austin, Texas. Nah, it's IG shit. 
is seeing that shit it's on the real. Oh, well, the this one minute clip. This Saturday, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be on. Have someone film, film your shit all day, man. I bought a two thousand dollar camera so that way I can get good oh. dead shots. That's what you. That what? That's how that one fool blew up that we were just talking about. Yeah, Ralph. Bur that's Bar what I was just gonna say. Yeah. Off of the seeing dome. clips of him, the, the off other off fat Mexican fool with the long hair. Seeing little clips of him. Felipe Summer. He got a he got a Netflix. I haven't seen some other crazy like Python fools that are fucking killing it lately. You know what I mean? The dude with the lobster and the steak. <laughs> Ralph Barbosa just got recognized off of Don't Tell Comedy. I'm going to be on that on Saturday in Fort Collins. Nice. Yeah, no, I'm working at that. And you got to be invited. You can't, I can't even tell you where it's going to be. I, I know, I know where it's, it's going like to be, fucking but I can't Tom tell Cruise anybody. Shit, you have to go to DontTellComedy.com and then register, and then they tell you where the venues are going to be. It's like some eyes wide shut shit. For you're going to end up with all kinds of naked people. I've been to prison. <laughs> I've been to prison. You understand? You fuck or be fucked. You understand? I've already been here, homes. I've been to juvenile hall. You understand? I got top bunk, bro. What's what's cracking? I got this shit all day. If they try to fuck, I will fuck. I will, uh, babe. I love you, but I will fuck my way out of a situation. You understand? Shit, rape will be raped. Oh man, let me find that. Don't be stupid, right? <laughs> don't be dumb. Or don't be dumb. Don't I will dumb. rape you before you rape me. Understand? Don't be dumb. It ain't no. It's not gay if they're trying to rape you. You know what I'm saying? Shit. No, nobody else. Uh, Just me. Okay, fuck it. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talking about fucking Ralph Barbosa. Is that in Barbosa? Barbosa, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of him as a young comedian? I don't know. I just heard this. But shit. I mean, but what are the little stuff you heard? I mean, I did not see his clips or anything. Oh, I no? just heard George Lopez bring him up, and then the, I I watched Flagrant, and they were interviewing him. But I don't know who he is. The kid's and, funny. And kind of explain to me know. what you were explaining earlier, like being that kind of like George Lopez has been coined as kind of like the Don Dada of Hispanic. You know, comedy. He hit on everything you can say about being, being Mexican Hispanic. or Hispanic. You can tell your journey or your story. It's going to matches. I, I mean, I can't say anything about. I lived with my grandma. Right. My Mexican grandma. The fucker hit it. So when you he talk about she's that, mean, she wants to beat you. She fucking yeah. yes, everything. It's you know when you were, mean back you know in the when day, you huh? run up the stairs and you're afraid, like something's gonna get you, and you turn around, there's nothing there. And you're like, what the fuck was that? Okay, when you're Mexican, there's something there. They're trying to hit you. They're trying to beat you. Yeah. You're running as fast as you can. I hated my grandma's house, man. I was being so beat by old Mexican. My grandma had gold teeth and everything. Dude, my, oh, yeah, your grandma's gangster. My grandma was old, old, old. Not gangster. She was just old. They had a shrine of the Jesus and the Marys and everything. My great, great, grand, I remember my great grandma. I fucking helped to, you know, Build change their fucking dry, diapers and shit. My Tanta and uh, Lala, tot, uh, what, what, what do they call them? Lala and... Tata? Tata, yeah. It was his, like, my great-grandpa. I met them, but they were always, my grandma, my great-grandma was always praying. And I'm like, damn. What did you do? <laughs> you did so You're... Please, Lord, I'm so uh, sorry. I, say... I know I'm coming here so soon. Please, I remember when I was 23 and I didn't let me to do it. I was like, yeah, I was like, going to say so, but I kind of had to reframe, but I want to go into comedy mode, man. Like, put, you know what I mean? Get like... in it, baby. Yeah, we're in it. Fuck it. <coughs> She'll be the Cochina, bro. Yes, <laughs> like everybody's day. mom's That's been. What I was like, everyone's mom's been the Cochina once you or had, twice. You had, you know, the you had five no guys. Way. You had five guys before the restaurant was a chain. Don't be dumb. Everyone's bro. mom's fucking sucked a couple mm, of dicks. There's a, there's a shrine. Probably I should met your daddy. A shrine. Like, I, I repented, Eva. Yeah. Please don't take me. But a shrine? You really did something. Fucking. Praying eight hours a day. Oh, going like, dude, church. every time you turn around, you can let me change this shit. I was like, what are you doing? What did you? You were so evil when you were little, weren't you, fuck? I don't know what they did. I don't know. So, I never kind of thought about it, how you were talking about that earlier. Why maybe he is the way he is, because... I'm thinking he's just an asshole for not helping out motherfuckers. Well, who are you helping out? Everyone that fucking comes on this motherfucking podcast. By, what, by doing what? By kind of spreading the word of who they are and what they do. And by helping yourself. Yeah. Right. We help each other. Well, you help me, I help you. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I'm helping me. Right. At the end of the day, you're helping me. At the end of the day, he's helping him. And anybody who goes before him, yeah. especially Hispanics, are probably going to say something that he is about to say next. Right. Yo, so why, which is a good so point. I know his opener, Brian Callen, the white boy. I know his opener. He works here. He's from here, Colorado. He's from Comedy Works. I know him personally. We've hung out. I know his wife. Mm -hmm. I know him. 
and me is never, ever, ever going to say anything close, close to what George Lopez is going to say at all. Yeah. Subject wise, whatever. He talks about his wife, it has nothing to do with George Lopez. Doing. He talks about his grandma, it's not going to come anywhere close to what the fuck George Lopez is about. Take any, any Hispanic, half Hispanic, right. that really it's knows, <laughs> really knows their Mexican grandmas. You're going to fucking say what George Lopez said. Whether you are, you're not trying to steal his shit, he already did your idea. Right, That's why some, yeah, so many people related to him. It's so way. hard. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's really hard to talk about my Hispanic family without, it's going to sound something like what George Lopez said, because the fucker's right. He gave you everything that I fucking observed. Everything when I go to my grandma's, like, yeah, this fucker get in there. We were talking about that Latin Kings of Comedy. He touches everything on that fucking. From the grandma. all of those guys mm -hmm. said and, and something he said, and it's so spot on. It is the best part was the grandma talking shit like, yes, "Bring me a plate, grandma, though." Whoa. Oh, how many? Ooh, those are third marriages. I'll just catch the fourth one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That shit is spot fucking Good. on, bro. Mm -hmm. I my, know, huh? That's to the fucking <laughs> T, bro. My silver like. tongue comes from my grandma. I'm mm -hmm. not lying. She had, she talked more shit than any whatever man. Yeah, you see that pendejo, the cochino? Yeah, he's a marijuana. I was like, Jesus Christ. I remember finding tin foil and baking soda and toilet paper roll in the top of the closet, and she 